consumers and farmers alike across the nation um, how important women are to agriculture. Uh, I like to think of you know a farm mom is, is the backbone of, of the farming operation in a lot of cases. Um, you know you all know Tina and you've seen the uh, farm here so you know what she does every single day and on top of that she does a good job of bringing in consumers and kids and, and trying to teach them you know, um, some truths about farming that, that they may not otherwise get an opportunity to see. So our Farm Mom of the, of the Year program, um, Tina's our Midwest Farm Mom uh, regional winner. We have five regional winners and she's one of five uh, winners. We had nominations come in from 48 different states, even as far as Hawaii got a nomination. Um, so it's, it's not really a small feat that she, she won this award. It's a big deal. Um, and so that's why we're out here today. We're, we're, you know, we want to see the farm and acknowledge Tina. Um, her nomination was written by her husband, Dwayne. Uh, and I thought it would be appropriate for me to, to read some, some portions of Dwayne's nomination here so you can understand um, you know, a little bit further about why, why she won. So here's, here's some things that Dwayne wrote about Tina. My wife, Tina, is the mother to our four children, is the quintessential supporter of all agriculture. In 1997, when our twin daughters were born, she started making plans to open our dairy cash crop farm for, for ag education. Schools, families, scouts, foreigners, and tourists visit yearly from early spring through late fall. The thousands of visitors get information and true passion on all subjects of dairy, crop production, biotechnology, and anything grown on our farm that becomes food. She has a true perspective on all subjects because we truly have a diverse farm. Tina's milking 105 purebred Holsteins twice daily rearing all replacements for our herd, helping with forage productions on 2,300 acres, and raising chickens, goats, sheep, and swine to be able to show why we farmers farm the way we do. She is a 4-H leader involved in the FFA alumni on the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, Wisconsin Beef Council, Wisconsin Farmers Union, and others. Tina's always put others first and foremost, not requiring any praise or acknowledgement for her giving or kindness. She has a strong voice for agriculture, and an amazing example of American farm um, And I think, you know, that Dwayne sums it up better than anybody could. Um, Tina represents the thousands of, of women across America that farm. She, she does things that, um, you know, I think she would acknowledge that, that they all do, but, but Tina is really involved, and she deserves this work very much. It's very impressive. Um, so I guess, um, without further ado, on behalf of Monsanto and the uh, Farm Mom of the Year program, I'd like to present Tina with this check, as well as the title of Midwest Farm Mom for 2013. Yeah. Thank you, Monsanto. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Do you want your eyes? Do a handshake? Picture? Definitely. All right. Oh, yeah. And where's Dwayne? Yep, Dwayne, get in here. All right, Dwayne. <laughs> yep. It's really because of Dwayne, so. Yeah. Well, it's because of you, but. But, but no, right. right. Dwayne's the blame. Dwayne's the blame. You got an answer? Hold on, let me get on the other end. There you go. Step back about a foot. Okay. You could give her a kiss on the cheek, do it. <laughs> <laughs> he is fond of her. I've, I've learned that in my short time on the farm. There you go. Drop, drop the check just a little bit so I can see your shirt. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.